Okay, so today I probably won't be filming that much. I just want to get my bearings adjusted and uh, you know, the way of the land. I'm going to get something to eat, maybe a cool drink. It's uh, very warm out. Very, very warm out. I'll go towards the, uh, the lakeside and I'll see what it's like. There's a lot of hotels. A lot of everything around here. But it's very warm. Yeah, I think if I follow this road, it'll take me pretty close to the water. I think I might have to turn a right and a left again, um, according to the map. But we'll see. So uh, the hotel's good. I was missing the chair, the, the 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 desk, so he brought one up for me. So I'll be able to sit on the old bed there and type away on my laptop maybe get some editing done so today will be a quiet day I'm gonna probably not do much filming today um, I'll walk around I'll have uh, something to eat a couple drinks and then do some editing and chill out today travel day and tomorrow I'll get on it do the research of, uh, of uh, the Golden Bridge and Docky Golden Bridge he says I think I take a bus and I can come back the same day if that's the case I might stay there Maybe see if we can upgrade the rooms. There's two rooms that are similar, but they're facing the uh, they're facing the front of the building, and it looks really nice. Good views. Each floor has a little balcony uh, with a desk and uh, a couple of chairs too. So, you know, my battery's charged on the the laptop there. I can uh, go ahead and uh, do some editing there too while over looking out at the you know the scenery. So right now I'm just gonna turn it off till we get a little closer to the water. And uh, unless something else jumps at us. So I walked by this, uh, on that main road, it there's this nice little like bar type area and restaurant. It was really intriguing. So I'm gonna probably hit that up on the way back. I just wanted to come to the viewpoint there on the, uh, on the lake side. They're all very quiet so far. Yeah, they're all selling the same type of stuff. Wonder if they're all connected or... Anyways, we're coming up to the water. fish there but the fish would be good because it's probably locally caught. Royal Enfields they're all over the place. I wonder what this is. So I guess you can rent boats here and uh, go and uh, they'll paddle you around. Just take a glass if it's water. Just a bit. Don't you, bud? He was some coconut. Might try some later. I don't know. I haven't had a coconut yet, like a fresh coconut, like to drink. I haven't seen one yet, really. I've seen a couple of markets in Kathmandu that had them there, but not to drink, like you prefer them home. It's easy you can boat, rent all these boats. Although it's too hot to go out on a boat today. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah, it's too hot uh, to be going out on a boat today. <laughs> a couple little stalls there selling stuff. And here's the lakeside view. Surrounded by the mountains and all that. My hotel will be somewhere down there. That's all the smart ones sitting under the shades. And then you can have Panapuri and all that. I think I'm gonna go back to that roadhouse type place and get a cool drink and see what kind of see what kind of stuff they have there. We'll just walk around here. I see a Ferris wheel in the uh, 
the background there. So it's very, very hot right now. Okay, And there's the mountains all around us. It's very peaceful. Like I said, a very, very, very big tourist area for Nep the Nepalese people as well as for Indian Hindus and and there's a, a huge monument for uh, Shiva up on one of the mountains here and there's all sorts of temples and shrines and plus the views and there's lots of restaurants, a lot of hotels. They all service everything for them. And here's some more places, you know, Pizza Hub and breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Some nice new buildings here too. They're very high, look. Look at that one there. That one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost 10 stories. Very impressive. Oh, here's a coconut. Maybe I'll see how much a coconut is and uh, see what a coconut costs and tastes like. There's nobody there. There's small coconuts. Nobody there, maybe on the way back. Winners. I just imagine in the evening time this is all hopping with music and people drinking and having a good time and stuff like that. We'll probably go out a little later, see what's what. Namaste. Yeah, so, so there's a 395 for pizza beer is 380 Yeti 480. That's not too bad. Cheaper than Kathmandu. We don't want to photobomb his uh, Instagram shot. This little wooden bridge. There's a nice little cafe house here, beer house. The man's making a boat, wearing it. It's my bed. That looks interesting. Might be a better option than. Uh, and going in the main street part. Just want to go up to where the uh, Ferris wheel is, see what the crack is there. Namaste. And we'll just keep going. So it's a very pretty sight. Someone's doing their laundry there. So you can walk right into the water there. Don't see anyone's finished swimming in it. A couple of boats, but like I said, it's very warm. Be uh, out and about. I'm just glad I'm not trekking anymore in the heat like this. You'd be absolutely melting. And there's rays, grounds. So there's literally tons of them. There's some benches here you could sit right on the waterfront. And then skate park. Well, they have a Roller skate, is it? Green Lake. I think I'm gonna go back to that place that has the uh, upstairs skate park. And there's music playing, so we to keep going. Hopefully, we don't get copyrights. And yeah, I've seen these fairies. These Ferris wheels are a bit mental I think to be pulled around and there's no real security if you look at there's no doors you just sort of sitting in there while the guy 
whips it around. Bubble bees. Hippie brew bar. And another restaurant. And then, so here's the Ferris wheel. Didn't say where it goes, so I think you. There's, it just keeps going around the lake. I'm gonna stop it here right now. And uh, we'll just see about, uh, there's the Ferris wheel. We'll see if we can get on it one time while well, we're here for the next few days. Now I'm gonna, just going to go and get something to drink because it's hot and then get something to eat maybe. So signing off for now. Okay, so I'm stopped here for a beer. Uh, it's called the Rooftop. Look at these little hammock chairs and stuff. It's really nice. Really warm out right now and here's the roof. So I'm just going to take a break. Enjoy the Gorka. It's my uh, favorite beer since I've been here. So, tell you about it. I don't know, TikTok? Is it a movie? Is it what? Video? YouTube video? There we go. It's very warm to be dancing outside in the sun. <laughs> Better with them, eh? I'll stick with my, uh, I'll stick with my, uh, my Gurkha. So I just stayed at this place here for two beer. And I'm walking on. It's getting a little overcast now, but which is a little bit welcome because it was really hot. So now it, the sun's covered a bit with the clouds. So it's actually pleasant. So I'm gonna make my way towards Main Street and get myself something to eat. Onto the main road, turn to right and we get towards my place. Well, right and then right again. But here's coming into the main intersection. Even the big TV screen advertising in the area. There's a lot happening on. So you see this place. So we'll be walking around here for the next few days. Like I said, one adventure we're going to get on to is we're going to head to uh, the Bad Glowing with the uh, Golden Gandalfi Golden Bridge. That I'm looking forward to. Now I just need something to eat. And then start maybe editing in the back of the room. So I was at this place looking at the Roadhouse Cafe. And uh, your man was coming in to clean the shoes. They're, they're an absolute mess. So he offered it for $150. So I said, yeah. Very good. Because they are destroyed. So here we're going to come in. We'll have a, maybe a drink. And some food once he's finished. So. They have gourmet pizzas. I haven't had pizza in a long time. Pasta, burger, burger, 1055. That's pretty pretty dear. And soup salad. And a gill of fish. Chicken. Tends to be a little bit expensive. We'll see. Right now I'm gonna get my shoes all cleaned up for 150. Oh, there's the uh, burger house and crunchy fried chicken. I get that a crack. Main Street with the wires. And there's the TV again up there. And the million bikes, which is typical in the fall. So, just got my shoes cleaned. Your man there behind us. Um, One fifty. So I was approached on the walkway. And he wanted like 450 or 500, and I said no, maybe, you know. But then he wanted 150, 
which is fine and it was okay it was acceptable because my shoes were a mess so they were clean but then he started talking about how his shoe box was stolen and his you know his family are having a hard time and that was similar to the other guy's story he didn't have a shoe box either so it seems to be like a little line that they use but i mean 150 which is like you know a little over a euro to get my shoes clean they were absolutely in bits so now i'm just gonna look for something to eat for dinner i went to that place looked a little deer and it wasn't looking great and there wasn't nobody in it so i'm just gonna walk around well, they have a vending machine here for 500 rupees. You get a, a beer, 50 rupees of mineral water, and soft drinks are 100, and Oreo biscuits are 100. That's uh, pretty handy. Right on the main drag. Number one. Another tattoo place up there. Lots of tattoo players. Hotel Monel Cookery. So I'm looking for somewhere to have a bite to eat. Chinese restaurant over there. So there's so much places to look at. You're always, your head's on a swivel. Black tea, 25. Milk tea, 40. Banana milkshake, 150. Banana lassi, 150. Very good. Purses and bags and scarves. All sorts of stuff. Little Jameson. Ooh. Pick your stores. Hello. Which is that? Which one? That one. This one. Malakit stone. This one, 450. Oh, Very good stone. 450. Malakit go kidney medicine. How much can you give? 450 is dear though. Yeah, how much can you offer? Yeah. Tell me. If you buy this kind of sheep, yeah. Yeah, which you like, you different quality, yeah. To yeah. work how much? Uh huh? Malakit semi pesto stone. Yeah. How much can you offer? Tell me, yeah. It's more for opening the business. They're yeah. nice. For helping business. We are refugee. I discount for you. How much for the two? For two, do you, do you take uh, 650, okay? 600, okay. 500. 500. 550, yeah. By bus charge. 550? Yeah, really good stone. Yeah, no, uh, no, they look selling. nice. They look nice. Really? I'll see if I have there. I'll People see. selling mountain one is 500, 600. In here, no good business. Yeah, many shops. Uh, I can change. Give me. Give me. Yeah, ah, you have five. There's five? Yeah. And. Uh, 20, yeah, 30. Yeah, yeah, no 540. 540, is that good? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. On your back. Good karma. Yeah. You okay. Are, uh, yes, you too. You too. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Bye bye. So I wasn't going to buy that, but they really they look really nice. And helped out and let's see, we're still looking for food though. I mean they're really nice. Uh, I don't know if it would be a gift or um, I keep it myself. We'll see. So I had a good conversation with your man at the chemist the pharmacy. He was just chatting in that and asking about where it was, where I'm going to. Um, there's no sale involved in that. So there's lots of places here in the walk around. Like, there's a lot of places to come and eat. But the problem is, I'm finding is, I don't see anything packed. You know, if there's not a lot of people there, it tends to mean that maybe it's not great, you know? 
moments right here. So I'm going to walk around. Let me see if I can find something that will interest us. And I'll give it a shot. I'm looking for maybe some Nepali slash Indian, Yanni, something like that. Just like I said, I'm just trying to get the viewers in on the first day. There's so much to offer. Like, let's see. In across the road to KFC. And then here is Baskin Robbins. And then you have like a North Face, Hawaiian Cup, Java Cup. And then Columbia. So I wonder if they're real stuff or uh, first copies. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Rice Garden Restaurant. Mm, interesting. There's so many choices here. It's hard to find, make a decision. Plus I have to look at where I'm going because I, I think I'm totally lost now. I was just walking around not paying attention. Namaste. Hawaiian steaks serve with chips, boiled vegetables, welcome to my Welcome to my pub restaurant. Enjoy a free cocktail with any cocktail you buy. Uh, beer is $3.95. Very good. Simply the best Nepalese, Indian, Italian, Mexican, continental, and more. But doesn't tell you the price of the food. We'll keep walking and we'll see. It's an option. Of course, everywhere in the world, you look right across, there's an Irish pub. Don't know if I'll be going in there, but we'll see. Boomerang, restaurant and German bakery. And then if you look across the road, they have the Tiki Bar and Reggae. Like there's so many choices, I don't know what to choose. And because every time I look, there's nobody in there passes. Boomerang restaurant, here's the prices. Cheese house, burger, vegetable cheeseburger. Chicken burger, five twenty five. It's not bad. Pizzas, five ninety five. Margarita, Hawaiian, six seventy five. Let's see, there's a German bakery there. And it's a lot more lively than Mang Tang, but or uh, than uh, Kathmandu, but it's less busy. More organized, I don't know, more calm. And I haven't been asked bar once. I think someone asked me if I wanted some marijuana or hash. But mostly it's your left alone. Pork station. That looks good. White rabbit coffee. Like, there's stuff everywhere. Like, you could probably be here for a week looking around and you miss half of it. Hello, Namaste. 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 There's a lake view as well, yeah? Yeah, that's very much. Let's see what the menu is like, I'll see. Take a look at the menu. Oh yeah, looks really nice down here. Uh, what do we have? Pan fry tofu, 600. Spaghetti 8. What are the drinks like? Oh, Gorka. 8, 8.49. That's pretty dear. <laughs> All right, I'll take a look. Thanks. See you later. Yep. It looks really, really nice. Prices tend to be a bit more than the last places on the other side of the lake. Godfather's Pizza. And we'll just look around. If I get close to something I like to see, I'll let you know. Oh, there's a, another. Welcome department store, Jack Daniels. So make it one of those and uh, maybe some uh, crisps, uh, Pringles for the room on the way back. Here's some brass souvenirs. Jeez, that'd be heavy to bring back. Yoshiba. Jeez, everywhere you look, there's just something more and more. 
Say that it was. What's this place? Rajan. Let me go look at that. This looks really intriguing. Let's see what they have. Momo 370s, chicken wings, soups, entree, continental. Uh, she's kebab, chicken kebab 740. Buy three, get one free. For the Gurkha craft. I don't think I want to have four beers. So, so everywhere you go, there's something really interesting. Dung Lung Resto Bar and Lounge. That one looks nice. See any price list? Another option. And here's where there's zip line, fire, bungee, they offer those. A nice big Mexico hotel. Smoothies in the front. Lassies. Like, I wasn't sure how I'd like the Lassies and that, but the sweet Lassie is absolutely fabulous. Here we are coming to a Indian tandoori. No, nah, China, China. Very nice commission. No, nah, China. Selling good price. Oh no. I have no room. And a part of food camp, your vegetarian restaurant. Ooh, I wonder about that. That's another option. There's so many different options. Visa Youth Hostel. Boss restaurant, bubble tea. Like, it's an overload of sensations and that. Japanese restaurant, Jasmine, Thai, and Chinese cuisine. Like, and it just keeps going on and on. I'm gonna have my hands full during this next two to four days, depending on how long I stay. But it looks really adventurous. Oh, somebody's bag broke. Is that good or bad karma? We'll say. Time to head back. So a bit of a sucker again, because I didn't want to. This gentleman came up with the machine, with the music, trying to sell me something, and I said, no, no, no. He had some really nice beads and bracelets that, like, too expensive, and they looked really nice. I ended up getting this one here, um, the cream colored one. He wanted 700. I gave him 400, which is probably still too much, but I don't know. Just want to see what kind of place is to get something to eat, and we'll get uh, going from there. But I'm happy enough, anyways. You know, 400 is what? Two euro something? Let's go chance our arms. I don't know. I've been looking around, overwhelmed. Too many choices. So. Went in Rome. What is that? Let's see what that is and how much it costs and what the food's like. Everywhere in the world has an Irish pub, but if there's nobody in there, I'm running. I might pass by tomorrow during the day, see what it's like. I walked in there, a huge place, very well done but not a soul in there. So that's sort of my parameter I use. I make sure that there's at least somebody in the place. Um, so I'm getting kind of tired. It's getting late, it's 5.30ish. I just gonna get something to eat, head back to the room and chill for the night. I thought about the uh, KSC, but I said, ah, no, can't do it. So I, I picked the Maya uh, restaurant. Looks really good. It's right opposite KFC. Still, not too many people here, but the price looks okay for the beer and that. We'll see. We'll take a shot. Here's what it looks like. 
way out. And there's the way out. So we'll give it a shot. So here we are. Ah, namaste. So here we have the menu. There's the uh, cocktails and the beers and the drinks. Shisha. I'm trying to look and see what old beer is. Here we are. Gorka 650. This is not a main drag, so. Oh, Nick, the Poly Ice Strong 610. I'll try, I'll give that a shot. People said that's okay. So I'll give them the Poly Ice Strong a shot. And then for food, I might go for the chicken burger. Or pizza. Served with chips and salad. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the chicken burger and the poly ice. Strong. I'll give it a shot. Let's see what it looks like when it gets here. Okay, so here's my burger. My Gorka beer. It was, I put the, uh, the amount up in the uh, comments. I think this was like 600, and this was about the same. It's a chips with salad. Boy, well, you know what it tastes like? That's some doubt. This is when I took a bite of the chip. A little soggy, but it's absolutely lashing outside. Aired on the roof here. I guess the monsoon, se monsoon season is not over in Nepal. Uh, my second bite into it. Doesn't appear to be a lot of chicken in it. More filling. So, close as it's close to on, the chips are a little sucky. So, on the most part, not really great. You know, I'm starving too. Which also adds to the factor, so really, you know, you'd expect more for that. We'll see. <clears throat> and on reflection, I remember when I was on the Lang Tang Trek in the tea house, we had chips. And they were ten times better than these. And they're primitive condition, so. Yeah, probably not really sold on the chips. In retrospect, I probably should have went across the road. To KFC because you would have had a proper chicken burger, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. It wasn't great. You know, you know the Gorka is fine, but uh, <coughs> a little bit, uh, it's hard to judge so far. My first impression of Pokhara, there's a lot of places, very busy with stuff to look at, but there's not a lot of people because it's the off season and then looking outside. It's happens flashing down rain. So that'll affect everything too. Looks like I'm stuck in the uh, monsoon season in Nepal. Look, look at it. It's been absolutely bucketing for about a half an hour now. Look at the, uh, there was like a, I'd say about a half foot, eight inch little trough for the water, but that's gone over the well. Came on the airplane. The water is just steaming down. Now, if you remember, the uh, the curb there was there. <laughs> and they had like a little 12 inch by 8 inch trench. And well, now that's golfed up, look at it, it's going all to the zebra crossings. Those bikes weren't even close to that trench. And they're all covered in water and the same on the air side like you're sort of hostage here now like you're gonna get so seems to be maybe dying down a bit but we'll see oh well are you looking forward to uh, getting those pastries and uh, bring them back to the room 
Although, the cream bell looks good. Ice cream would be nice. I'm sort of stuck here right now. Rescuing the kids. <laughs> the school bus. Into the sun. Look at the water. He's like up to his knees. Not a bad thing. There's no other foot back on this side. If you look at it, now it's going for 10, 12 feet. 15 maybe. Like, absolutely mental. It's not supposed to be monsoon season, but. No. So there's a cost. It was 12.85 for the thing. So 12.85 equals nine euros and 17 for the, the meal. So that's the the burger with the coleslaw and chips and the beer. Okay, so I'm walking back in the rain. I stopped by the pastry stop. I got uh, two pastries: a strawberry one and a black forest. And then I got a vegetable pate for, you know, a snack for a, a savory dish. Um, so that was like for about three euros, or 375 uh, rupees. And now I'm making my way towards the room. So it's not too far. And the rain sort of stopped off a bit. It's manageable. So. There we go, tell me you turn right up here. So I have to go right, left, right, left, and then it's to right. So, we'll see ya in the room. And in true Nepali fashion, as they're walking up the street, all the power gets shut off. Some places have generators, shut off. So, makes it a little more trickier to walk the streets. Hopefully I get there. Don't know if you see this, but it's absolutely lashing down. I thought it was close enough, but then when it got to really close, there was a dead end. So now I have to be, I was really like right next door to it. So now I have to go out, turn to the left, 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 and left. Oh, and the piss down rain, so. I am absolutely soaked. So I guess when I get home, I'll strip off, have myself a nice shower and then get stuck into the desserts and editing and then touch base with Emily and Shauna and Ronan and all that so we'll see so I just got into my room your man at the stairs was telling me that there's a power shot which I seen out in the street so he said you're allowed one night one light in the room and then the uh, internet still work so I don't know. Here we are. So we may not get much internet or uploading done during the week, during today. But anyways, I'm pretty shattered. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you like and subscribe and enjoy what's going to happen in Pokhara, Bagalong, everything else. There's so much more to come. I'm still here for another 20 days. Ciao.